Hey guys, it's Kim here. Um, I'm gonna talk about um, my, I guess, background of mental health. Um, it is a touchy subject, so I'm going to try and like not miss anything. But um, for the most part, um, dealing with it for so many years by myself and then um, getting some help is always good, like, always finding people to talk to and everything, like, if you can open up to a friend that it won't, like, judge you or anything, um, that's good. I had one, but my, um, the past couple of months, my depression and anxiety have been terribly hard and, um, when you're the type of person that um, pushes people away when you bottle up all everything, um, you tend to push people too far and you, no matter how much you apologize, you can't take back either what you said or what you did. And you know, there's this one person that in the past couple of months I hurt pretty badly not just what I did I didn't do anything um, it was majority of what I said to him and you know still to this day I regret it because I haven't heard from him since middle of December so um, right now I'm using my training my fitness training to help me with that um, when it comes, also when it comes to, um, depression and anxiety, not everyone's gonna understand, and, um, you need to find those people that won't just, ju won't judge you for how you're feeling, but try to understand, or just at least be there to, like, listen. Um, it's always good to surround yourself with positive people, <laughs> like, I surround myself with lots of positive people um the only person that is really on the negative side in my family is my grandma so like no matter what I'm always gonna love my grandma and I'm always gonna be wanting to be around her but I can't be around her for a long period of time because then it starts to affect me and my thoughts and um you really don't need negative people in your life um also people may judge you for what you do um to how you cope with it and stuff i for years i hid behind um figure skating so that was one of my coping mechanisms um until i quit so when I quit figure skating, it was the spring of 2009, and I got pretty badly injured in my sport. So um, I would have had to wear a knee brace the rest of my, for the following year if I wanted to continue to figure skate. Um, so I decided to take two months off and I ended up not going back. And for my last year of high school, it was hard. Um, I think there was a few times where I actually started to like, I don't know how to say this without looking like, a, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, I guess in my grade, tw in my senior year of high school, um, I broke down a lot in class. So it was like no one could talk to me. Um, didn't really know how to explain it to my teachers so my grade 12 teacher decided to that I had a learning disability but really it was just depression and anxiety I just didn't want to focus I didn't want to be at school um, my friends would constantly ask what was going on and you know when you have close friends and they're trying to understand what's going on with you um, you start apologizing for everything you, um, or everything they have seen you do, 
and like for breaking down in class for like just randomly running out of class and staying in the bathroom um and for just ignoring my good friends um yeah there's a lot that went on so a lot that i hid from uh my friends like none of my friends knew that i was suicidal at a young age um i was only uh, i only did two three suicidal attempts which isn't too too bad i haven't thought of that since i was 22 so i'm doing pretty good i focus on um doing yoga for my anxiety and depression so of course i uh do my fitness routine and then i'll do yoga before i go to bed so that i relax and um sometimes i'll do like a little bit in the morning before i go to work oh sorry um but yeah you always want to find something that will help you um achieve what you want to come out of um this state and that's these thoughts and um the best thing is um like i'm 27 now so um like i said i haven't thought about suicide since i was 22 when i left my ex-boyfriend who was abusive so um that was the last time and that was the third time but i can do a whole another video on that whole relationship if you guys want just comment down below what you guys want to see um so i was 22 and i'm 27 now so that's like 22 23 24 25 26 27 that's like six years ago so i just had to make sure before i said it um so like in six years i have actually come a long way like i do still have my bad days um I have more good days. My bad days last from a week to two weeks, um, give or take. I used to be on antidepressants, but I only took them for like a month and then I decided, you know, I really don't need them because I've been doing so good without them for years. So, um, but you know, on my bad days, it's like I could have them but I have to find a new doctor so that I can get a new prescription for them if I want to have them just in case on my bad days. So that's a thought. Um, but if if you don't want to go on antidepressants, there's are, there are so many things. Like I'll give you guys a few tips that I do and that I did before I went on antidepressants. Um, I journal. I always have. Um, I do a, I have two journals, so I do one on health and fitness, and then I do one on, like, my personal, like, how I'm feeling, and, like, you know, that helps me a lot. I even take it to work, because I'm always at work an hour early, especially in winter time, and it just helps me feel better, get my feelings out, and, like, especially on bad days, because at the end of the day, I can go back to see what I wrote at the beginning of the day and ooh, my hair there's so much product in it um, and so of course I do yoga I work out um, having a great relationship with her family um, I know at the beginning when I tried to open up to my mom at, um, I think I was like 20 when I first wanted to open up to my mom and tell her that I didn't feel like myself and that I felt depressed I was 20 and my mom didn't really believe me because she said <laughs> this is exactly what she said um you shouldn't be depressed I should be depressed so like meaning she should be the one be feeling depressed not me so like then of course I shut down again um because like really she didn't understand she didn't at the time she didn't understand where i was coming from she didn't know what was going on i was gaining weight i was emotionally eating like there was a lot of things that were um going on in my head like my past bothers me a lot still um 
there's a difference between nightmares and night terrors. Nightmares, younger kids really get. Um, they're more like from watching a scary movie, whereas night terrors um, are like flashbacks of what has happened in your life that really bother you. Like um, if you were in car accidents, um, you're physically abused or assaulted or like you know it doesn't matter whatever like there's like bullying can trigger like I have PTSD um, which is post-traumatic stress disorder I have that from bullying so I have all the flashbacks from bullying like for from years like from grade 4 to like grade 7 I was bullied so like I was bullied really badly from grade 4 to grade 7 so I have those um, night terrors still I have um, from at grade 11 I was taken advantage of so I have that those um, images still um, that come when I'm sleeping like and then of course what my ex-boyfriend did to me um, like my ex was not physically abusive he was emotionally psycho or emotionally mentally uh, financially and verbally so like he was the four out, he was four out of five um, he just wasn't physical but there were some times where I thought he would be physical because he had anger issues so um, I also have um, general anxiety um, that which means that's why my jaw locks um, so if you guys want me to do a, also a video on TMJ or my jaw like um, the whole backstory on that just let me know and comment down below because I would love to do that video I'm thinking about um, also the thing is you can't take what people say to heart like not everyone's gonna understand you about mental health like not everyone's gonna understand what's going on and the only way you can make them understand is by opening up and there are a lot of things I didn't open up to a guy um, previous um, to this year um, the guy I ta started talking to about like started talking about at the beginning of this video um i opened up to him more than i opened up to any other guy um there are a lot of things that i haven't gotten to tell him and wanted to but um like i said my anxiety and my depression and things i were was feeling or saying to him uh i like when i say i push people away i say things that I regret later and um, it I tend to push people too far and there's no going back so um, it is hard for me to talk about mental health but um, you know the more people talk about it the easier it'll get and I've been having like my anxiety and my depression has have been bothering me for like two weeks so um going on three so like my jaw of course has been bothering me really badly so this is probably where i would want um my antidepressants especially um like i said i haven't taken my antidepressants since june i was on them for may um and yeah, it it's it's not an easy subject for a lot of people to talk about, but uh, and I'm not saying that this is the only reason why I have a YouTube channel. Um, I have a YouTube channel for my fitness and my fitness journey, um, but I do like to um, open up about life and um, especially about my life because it seems like lots of youtubers open up about anxiety and depression and it just makes me want to keep you guys up to date and how i am i handle it like i know lots of youtubers handle theirs differently and this is how i handle mine 
Um, of course, I still have to work out this today. Um, I'm not sure what time I will work out, maybe this evening or something. Um, or maybe around four or three. Ooh. Yeah, maybe 3.30. Anyways, um, I am doing what I do do, um, like these, um, I did order, uh, Women's Best, so I'm trying those, um, pro those, um, pre-work, their pre-workout and post-workout, um, powders and I'm probably gonna order some protein powder from them because they are vegetarian and vegan so and since I am vegan I can do vegetarian meals as well when I go out because um, it just you know uh, I don't have to just worry about majority of the vegetarian menu isn't just about eggs so um like i said i'm still um getting used to being vegan i am still um cutting things out but i have to do it slowly i am also taking um these supplements called total restore i just ordered i this will be my third week on friday on them so actually i think i should do a review on them uh next Monday I'll do a review on them and a view, review on powder so actually I'll do a um, whole video on supplements and I have to film my workout today I'm not sure if I'm gonna film all my workouts all week and then get them up or uh, so I gotta think do I do like different workouts every day so like today is like my leg workout tomorrow's like shoulders and chest and like so on and so forth so um i'm not sure yet but i'm definitely gonna film today's workout um yeah anyways i'm gonna end this video right here and i hope um this helps some people with their anxiety or depression or if you guys need someone to talk to i will put my personal email or my business email down below and anyone can email me for questions or anything and yeah have a good day guys bye